Hey friends, I'm Jamie, and I hope you're having a fierce day. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. We're back today with another Draw My Bit Life challenge. After two requests, which is not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice, the 100 baby challenge. At the end of the video, I'll be doing another shout out and thank you, so watch until the end if you're interested. We're starting with randomly generated Sora Sasaki. The only things I changed were I confirmed that he was straight since this would be really hard without women and really handsome since we need all the help we can get. We were born in Nagoya, Japan, which is probably the best place to be born for this challenge since Japan's population growth rate is negative, so we'll try to single-handedly bring that up. We were conceived on our parents' honeymoon and have an older sister. This is kind of weird because we don't look anything like our parents. Our sister has blue eyes too, so maybe we were adopted? Or secretly from another father? Or switched at birth? Anyway, our parents are pretty rich and moderately religious. At one year old, we have the opportunity to be an extra on a movie set, probably because we're a really pretty baby. We also made our first friend. At four, we get another sibling, a younger brother. At six years old, we get another baby sister. It seems like we get along really well with our whole family, which is great. After starting elementary school, we ask our parents for some cash and get $78, which basically means that we're rich. We also read a book to max out our smarts. We then immediately start complimenting all of the girls in our class. Sora needs to be a huge flirt and a ladies man if he wants this to go well. We then start flirting with a few of the girls that seem to like us. We don't have the option to date yet since we're only six, but we're gonna keep the ladies close. The next year we get bullied and tell our big sister who beats him up even though she's three years older. We compliment the heck out of her for being such a badass. At eight, our parents get us a gerbil named Addison. We have the option now to go on walks, so I make sure we get on that right away and gain athleticism so that we can join a sports team. We continue flirting and complimenting all of the ladies, and at eight years old, we are already 100% in every stat. For some reason, our elementary school teacher hates us, maybe because all we do in class is flirt with every girl we can see, but our grades are really good. At nine, we get another baby sister, and the next year we get another baby brother, so clearly being so prolific must run in the family. Now that we finally have the option to ask somebody out, we ask out our friend Rico. She rejects us, saying ain't nobody got time for that, which is dumb because we're 10, but okay. We then have a tea party with her, so I don't think anybody is on such a big schedule at 10 years old. Uh, it seems like she's just afraid of commitment. But we immediately move on to the next girl, Anna Kamira, who is super popular. Her grades are pretty bad and she's average looking, but she said yes. The next year, our dribble dies from old age, but we have a sleepover at a friend's which makes us happy again. We take Anna on a hike and then try out and are selected for the volleyball team at our middle school. I picked volleyball because it's the most attractive sport to the ladies if Haikyuu taught me anything. Our little brother gets bullied and is called racial slurs uh, and asks us for help, so we choose to find the bully uh, and go at him. <laughs> we try to right hook his jaw, but apparently we can't because he lives in Afghanistan. <laughs> Our brother appreciates the effort anyway and says that we solved the problem, so did his bully legit just get up and move to Afghanistan to get away from these hands? These 13 year old hands. <laughs> anyway, the next year we become co-captain of the volleyball team and we take on a few freelance jobs and earn a bit of cash and then start high school. We try out for the basketball team since our friends are joining and get in with ease. Our looks went down a little bit, probably from puberty, so we have <laughs> Sora get a manicure. At 16, the family goes on vacation to Macau, which is really cool. And we finally get the option to make love with Anna. She's not on birth control, so it's only a matter of time, but we keep trying and she doesn't get pregnant. I guess she's not fertile yet, I'm not sure. The next year, we become co-captain of the basketball team and Anna finally gets pregnant and big surprise, we opt to keep the baby. We call her intelligent for this, which seems really ingenuine, but anyway. At 18, we have our very first son, Ryota. We graduate and since we're going to have a ton of babies, we need to pick a lucrative major. We choose finance and get a full scholarship. Since we likely got the scholarship for sports, we join the basketball team at our university. We pass the driving test and continue trying for a baby with Anna. We take a bunch of freelance gigs and the next year we have another baby, a girl named Rena. 
Anna gets pregnant again, so we continue laying on the compliments heavy and taking her to the movie theater. We try to adopt a stray bird, but it doesn't seem to be interested. And at 20, Anna and I have been together for 10 years, which is crazy. From this point onward, we'll have been with her longer than we have without her. We become co-captain of the basketball team and have another son, Yu. Our big sister graduated college and became an architect, which is pretty cool. Anna immediately gets pregnant again. My goal is to get her pregnant every year so we can have as many babies as possible. We're once again 100% in all stats, so it looks like puberty is all done. At 21, we get another son, Koki. We're now the captain of the basketball team, and Anna becomes a makeup artist and gets pregnant again. Next year, we have another baby boy named Rio. At 22, we continue education at graduate school with another full scholarship. We pick up a ton of freelance jobs to rack up that money, and Anna gets pregnant again. She gives birth to a baby girl named Yume. Ryuki, our little brother, comes out of the closet, and we, of course, support him unconditionally. Like always, Anna gets pregnant again. We join the grad school basketball team. I didn't even know this existed, but it happened. We tried to rescue a swan, but it didn't want to be saved. The next year, we have a son, Yamoto, and graduate from grad school. Unfortunately, we are in the red, so we have to get a job ASAP. To get back into the black, we pick up a ton of freelance jobs and Anna gets pregnant again. We finally get a job as a banker at the community bank after correctly answering Pocahontas to the question, which of these is the most respectable Disney princess? While on a walk, we find a backpack filled with PCP, so we turn it in to the authorities. We turn 25 and Anna unfortunately has a miscarriage. We compliment her and take her to the movies, then get her pregnant again. A plus boyfriend right here. We keep up the freelance jobs, and since we have seven kids, I figured it was time to get a house. We get a small cottage. Uh, props to our parents for letting us raise seven kids in their house without complaint. I mean, jeez. At 26, we have another baby boy named Hiroto. Anna gets pregnant yet again, and this time we call her clever for it. We find a money clip and then turn it in. We have a baby girl, Haruka and renovate the cottage and its condition shoots all the way up to 100. Maybe we finally added another bedroom. I feel like the cottage is probably a two bedroom, one bath, so virtually a nightmare for having so many kids. The next year we help a woman deliver a baby, which is probably because we're so experienced by now. We have another baby girl named Saki and Anna gets pregnant once again. At 29, Anna suffers from another miscarriage, and I think this is a good place to stop for now. We have 10 kids and are almost 30 years old. Each year takes a really long time in bit life when you have to make sure your wife is pregnant each time, so I guess she's not even my wife, my girlfriend. <laughs> so this is as far as we could go for now. I'll upload the next part either next week or the week after. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know what you think of Sora. Also, leave name suggestions for babies below since I'm still playing him in BitLife. I'll feature your comment when the baby is being drawn in the next video. Hold up guys, we're at 300 subs? This all happened so quickly, I cannot believe it. Again, I tried to compile a list of engagements with the channel, people who commented, friends who have supported me, etc. Those marked with the star, I'll link their channels below, definitely check them out. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to thank you guys for the subs, any raffle ideas you might have. As the channel gets more popular, I really want everybody to get popular with me. So thank you so much, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next week. Bye!